Nitrogen is very important to add to plants. Here in Dabaco University, we're going to go through some chemical forms of nitrogen fertilizer that you may want to be considering. All right, let's get into chemical nitrogen fertilizer options for cannabis production. So there's many different types of nitrogen fertilizer, but I'm gonna cover urea, ammonium nitrate, and calcium nitrate, the three we see pictured right here. So first off, starting with urea, is it contains 100% of uh, this chemical, which converts to ammonia in several days, and that's the important part, uh, is that it's a very quick conversion. It's also very potent because it's 46% nitrogen. We're going to see that comparing to some of the other nitrogen sources, or if you're definitely comparing it to organic sources, this is one of the most nutrient-dense forms. It's hydroscopic, meaning it does retain water. Uh, it's quite soluble in, in water, which is a great property to have, and also has very good handling properties as well. So these are all great considerations in why urea can be used on such a large scale. Typically it is used in the warmer periods of the year uh, and ideally should be incorporated or in some way get into the soil profile because it is possible for some of this nitrogen to be lost through the process of volatilization. Then we have ammonium nitrate. So this is a 50% blend of two different types of nitrogen. It is also hydroscopic, which means it's highly water soluble. It is explosive if mixed with hydrocarbons, which is a fuel oil. As a result, 94% ammonium nitrate and 6% fuel oil is basically ANFA, which is a highly explosive. As a result, the, most of the ammonium uh, nitrate fertilizer that you're purchasing is coated in some way. That reduces its chance of being highly explosive. Though care does need to be taken uh, to prevent caking, which is kind of it kind of all piling up and sticking to one another and becoming just a solid clump. Then we've got calcium nitrate, our last one here. Uh, and this is also highly water soluble, strongly hydroscopic. It's really a tendency to absorb water and cake. It does provide a readily soluble available forms of calcium ions as well. So you're kind of getting the benefit there of also fertilizing your plants with calcium. Keep in mind this is only 15% nitrogen, so that may play into it. And typically this is used uh, when soils tend to be a little bit colder particularly early on in the season, this can be a great option to have available uh, in case your plants are showing any sort of deficiency. Going through and adding some calcium nitrate can really make them green up fairly quickly and forego any negative effects from a nitrogen deficiency.